We've talked about nighttime animals coming out and being attracted towards light. But there's plenty of other animals that prefer the cover of darkness. Our corals come out, extending their tentacles beyond their skeleton to feed at nighttime. You learned about this in week three with Pip. We have sea cucumbers that become more active, starfish that go on great migrations around the reef, and sea urchins come out in full force. You might even see the dangerous lionfish hunting for some of its prey. There are many reasons to become more active at night. A lot of animals are sleeping, so often it's safer. But this is exactly what some predators take advantage of. Now we just had to change location because wow, look at that sunset behind me. It is spectacular. There are some predators that come out at night to feed. Sharks are one such group of these predators. But you might be wondering, how can a shark or any animal for that matter, be able to hunt when it's completely dark and they can't see? Well, sharks have some absolutely amazing adaptations to help them hunt at nighttime. The first is that they have an incredible sense of smell. And it's thought that this allows them to track their prey long distances. But how do they close in on their prey? How do they make that kill and get their dinner for the night? Well, they have two incredible adaptations that allow them to do this. The first is the lateral line. It's something that a lot of fish have. It's a fluid filled tube that runs the length of the animal's body and it can detect tiny changes in the movement of the water. So this means that when it's dark and the prey is swimming away from the shark, that swimming motion moves the water and the shark can sense this using its lateral line. The second is the ampullae of Lorenzini. They're small pores in the snout of the shark and depending on the species, they could have a hundred to a thousand of these pores. The ampullae of Lorenzini detect electrical currents in the water. What a shocking fact. Now that might not seem so useful until you discover that just about everything, yes, including you and me, uses electricity. In humans, whenever we want to move a muscle, our brain will send an electrical signal along our nerves into our muscle, causing that movement. And the shark's ampullae of Lorenzini can detect that electrical message that gets sent from our brain through our nerves into our muscles. And it's the same for its prey. But what about if its prey is trying to stay really, really still and not move a single muscle? Well, it can still detect the electrical impulses that happen when the prey is thinking or even when it's beating its heart, which is also a muscle. Wow, sharks are so much more amazing than I thought. Now for this activity, let's have a go at trying to find some prey ourselves. But for this, you'll need someone to help you. Ah, thanks Pip for coming to help me. Let's go do that activity. So for this activity, you'll need the materials that I have in front of me here. A piece of paper, some safety pins or paper clips, a magnet, some tape, and a blindfold. So for this activity, I will be creating the scene and Pip will have to try to find or complete the challenge by finding all of the paper clips. So Pip is gonna put the blindfold on now so she can't see where I'm hiding the paper clips or safety pins. I'm going to use the tape to tape down some of these pins. No peeking, Pip. <laughs> I'm not. Now to stop the magnet from picking up the paper clips and the paper, add a little bit of masking tape to each corner so it will be stuck down onto the table. Make sure that you're doing this on a surface that you can stick masking tape onto or you can stick it onto something like a book. Okay, that should be good enough. I'm now going to turn it over and then give Pip the magnet and see if she can find how many paper clips and where they're located.
All right, good job, Pip. You're at the end of the piece of paper. Now, how many paper clips did you think there were? I think I found five. So there we go. So Pip found all the right locations of the paper clips, but the big reveal, take off your blindfold. How many were there? Three. There were only three paper clips. Oh, I think I found some multiple times. Yeah, there we uh, go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it's my turn to be blindfolded and Pip's turn to hide the paper clips and for me to then try to find them with the magnet. Okay, I think there were five. Okay. Yeah. Take your blindfold off. Okay. There was only four. Oh, there was only four. <laughs> I was so sure there were five. Oh, that was lots of fun. All right, now it's your turn to have a go with someone in your household and then with everyone else around you and try to get them to answer how they can sense where the paper clips are. And can you explain to them how sharks do that with their ampullae of Lorenzini?